Josh here today, aka the world's greatest dad, and we're hanging out with Huckleberry the Mini Aussie. And although he's a good boy now, he definitely always hasn't been that way. So today we're going to break down a very cool tool that you can use to help cut down on some of that loud barking. The Tiuna Smart Dog Bark Control Collar. Let's get it. All right, baby, let's go ahead and dive into everything you get inside the box here. As you can see, we've got the shock collar itself. We've got a charging unit, USB on one side. Now there is no wall adapter, so you'll need a USB wall adapter to charge that. We've got our shock tester, so you can test this thing without actually putting on your neck, although that's always a good time. Uh, instruction book right here, warranty information, and then we're gonna have a couple different sets of prongs here for the shock function. So you got some longer ones for longer hair dogs or some shorter ones for shorter hair dogs, and you got some nice silicone covers that go over those as well to make it a little more comfortable for your pooch. So next up, let's go ahead and take a little closer look at the instruction manual because nothing is worse than getting a product in the mail and finding out the instructions are garbage. So this thing right here, is gonna be about four pages front, four pages back, and it walks you step-by-step step about everything you need to know about this unit, about five steps, and you should be an expert at this thing. Now on top of that, they've also got a nice little warranty card right here. 60 days free return shipping if you don't like the unit, and they also have an 18-month warranty extension as well. So before we do anything, we gotta get this bad boy charged up. So you'll see we got our USB cable right here. Just gonna go ahead and use that in a USB outlet. And then the charging unit itself has two little prongs and two magnets. So that simply is just going to connect in right down there. Turn the thing around, and as you can see, shows you we're charging right up top. All right, so we've read through our instruction book. We've powered this thing up a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn it on. On the top of it, you're gonna see you have a power button and you've got a mode button right there. To fire up the unit, we're just simply gonna hold down the power button there for a few seconds and it turns on. And then with mode, we're gonna be able to adjust to our different modes. Now, basically, this thing has uh, several different settings. You've got a tone mode right there, which is gonna make a beeping noise when the dog barks. You've got a vibration mode, will just vibrate if the dog barks. Then you've got a tone plus a vibration, or for the granddaddy of them all, for those really bad pooches, you've got tone, you've got vibration, and you're gonna have yourself a shock right there too, all right? Now next up, you'll see these over here, and this is gonna be the sensitivity level. To change that, you simply use your power button up here, and you'll see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to zero. Now zero is going to be your test mode. And then basically these settings are going to be for the least sensitive at one, all the way up to the most sensitive at seven. Now what that means is if your dog was in a quiet environment, you're gonna to wanna to set it between a four and a seven. If your dog is in a normal environment, uh, just re regular day-to-day -day stuff, you're gonna to wanna to set it between a three, a four, and a five. Or if your dog is in a very noisy environment where there's lots of music, things like that, you would want to set that to a one to three. Now, if you are gonna use this thing just in the vibrate or in the sound mode, you do not need to put on these little shocker extensions. But if you are gonna use the shocker, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and screw those in right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the longer ones um, right now. And those would be more for longer haired dogs, the shorter ones for shorter haired dogs. Now you have an option here, you can either leave these as is, or you can put these silicone covers over them, and that's gonna be a little bit more comfortable for your dog. All right, so we got two different ways we can test the shock feature on this thing, which I highly advise before you strap to any pooch out there. Uh, number one, you're gonna go ahead and set it on your shock right here, and then we're gonna turn it to our test mode, which is zero. Oops, went past it there. Now on the back of the unit, we're gonna go ahead and strap down our little tester. And then we gotta bark into this thing. I'll let out a little howl and it should set the unit off. And at that point, it should make a little beeping noise and the light should turn red. So let's give it a whirl. Oh! Yep, it sent a little shock there. So now that we know that the shock mode works, let's go ahead and test out some of these other modes as well. We just have it on the ding sound right there. Burp! All right, we can go ahead and change that to now the vibrate mode. Burp! And we'll go ahead and do the sound and vibrate mode. Burp! There you go. 
All right, so we have sized this thing for my dog's neck. Again, he's a little bit smaller. He's a mini Aussie. So one thing you'll notice is that you do have a lot of room. So if it's a small dog or a large dog, you should have enough room to get this thing put on them. Now with the excess, because you're probably just going to use this for your dog, I'd probably suggest just cutting it off or you can go ahead and uh, rubber band or bungee it uh, just right there so it's not in their way. So we got our collar all sized up for his neck and we've also got our sensitivity set. Now we're outside right here, regular uh, environment. So we've got it set to a four. Again, your regular environment, you wanna set the sensitivity anywhere between a three and a five. The other thing we have set is this is just on the tone and the vibrate. Now, when I was training this guy when he was little, I actually never even had to use the shock function on these things. As long as it would make a beeping noise and it would vibrate, that would freak him out enough and get him to stop barking. So let's go ahead and pop it on his neck. Now, once it's on the neck, it should be snug, but not too tight, especially if you've got those prongs on there, but it's gotta be able to dig in a little bit. Uh, that way he will feel it uh, when it does what it's gonna do. Now this device is just a bark collar, so it's only going to be set off if the dog actually barks. It does not have a remote where you can control it, so if they're doing something you don't want them to do, you simply hit a button. This is only to control barking. Now old Huckleberry here is four years old, so he's probably not going to do a lot of barking today to set this thing off. But we did use a training collar just like this when he was younger and uh, that's one of the reasons that he is such a well-behaved boy these days now i love all the different features of this thing again with our dog we only needed the vibrate and the noise function we didn't actually need to shock him at all uh, but with your dog it might be different so i appreciate that they give you a couple different size prongs they give you those silicone covers and that you can just adjust so many different settings on this thing it's for those reasons and more i'm going to give this thing a world's greatest dad thumbs up and i'll say go out and get you one Hey, one more thing before you go. I want to let you know that the Tiuna company behind the Smart Dog Bark Control Collar is a big fan of the World's Greatest Dad's in-depth and honest reviews. Therefore, about a month ago, they reached out to me and Huckleberry and asked if they could send us this product for free in exchange for a review. Now, with that being said, all the thoughts and opinions expressed in this video were our own, and we always do our best to accurately portray any product we review. Now, I hope this video helped you out, and we'll see you next time.